Okay, it's that time of the year when I deep clean my house. How about I take you along on this journey? I generally try to tackle areas which I don't clean regularly and hard to reach spaces during my deep clean sessions. I'll use my handy companion, the Dyson V11 Absolute Pro Cordless Vacuum. Why Dyson? Other than the fact that I love the brand, the technology and the product, it has the most extensive range of attachments that you can find, which you will see me use through this video. Let's start with the kitchen. The kitchen has many ignored areas that we probably don't handle on a regular cleaning run because of the effort it takes to clean it. When did you last clean your drawers and cupboards in the kitchen? You have to remove the vessels and boxes. Vacuum the dust and food particles which have settled from God knows when. Wipe it down if required. Then put back all the vessels and boxes. The second area in the kitchen is on top of appliances. I do clean the top of my microwave regularly because it's reachable. But the fridge again ignored for a really long time. This is a breeding ground for dust. Ideally, I should be cleaning this more often than once in six months. For both of these, I'm using the soft dust brush or the combination tool based on how much dust has been caked into the surface. Next, I decided to tackle the bedroom. We spend or at least are expected to spend one third of our lives on the bed. While we do wash sheets on a weekly basis, the mattress itself can collect dust over time and needs to be cleaned on a regular basis. Dyson again has a special attachment for this, the mattress tool which doesn't stick to the fabric and can be used for removing dust from upholstery. Very useful. Many corded vacuums and cordless vacuums as well do not have this attachment as per my reviews done earlier. The other ignored areas are corners and joints of the cot. Have you seen how much cotton-like dust and dust mites have collected here? I'm using the crevice tool available with Dyson that can help you collect all of this dust. When was the last time you cleaned the curtains or blinds? I normally do give it for dry cleaning once a year or once in two years, but similar to your mattresses and sofas, fabric in the curtains can also collect dust. It is a bit cumbersome to do with a vacuum, but I do it using the mini motorized brush, which works excellently for upholstery. Let's now tackle the other area where we spend most of our time the living room. As many of you know, I use the robot vacuum for cleaning on a day-to-day -day basis. But my current robot vacuum does not go under low-lying furniture and a lot of dust can get collected under it. So I use the Dyson to clean such areas. It can automatically adjust the suction power based on the type of surface. That's amazing. I do clean the sofas on a regular basis, but even after cleaning regularly, it is unbelievable to see how much dust can get collected on the sofas. Again here, similar to the mattress, I'm using a mini motorized tool. Window railings and balcony railings are the most boring area to clean for me. So much dust gets collected and I don't end up doing it on a regular basis. So during the deep clean, this is the other area that gets cleaned as well. I'm using the combination tool available for this purpose. Next, let's talk about walls and ceilings. Fans collect a lot of dust. Ideally, doing this on a regular basis helps to keep it really clean and helps the dust not to get caked in. I'm using the soft brushing tool to remove any caked in dust on the fans and also the up top adapter to reach the top of the fans. Frames, mirrors, wall sideboards are again ignored quite a bit. It can collect tons of dust if not maintained on a regular basis. Not just the front surface, the top surface can also get very, very dirty. I'm using the soft dusting brush for cleaning these. Light fixtures can get super dirty too. I'm using again the soft dust brush or the combination tool to clean this. Make sure you don't have the light turned on when cleaning this. Now that we've covered pretty much most of the areas I wanted to deep clean, let's see how much dust has been collected through this process. Can you see? It's unbelievable how much it is able to collect. The Dyson website itself is pretty extensive and you can get all key details of the V11 and its attachment on their website. So what do I really like about this particular model? It's got a high suction power of 185 air watts, which is one of the highest in cordless vacuums. It's got a swappable battery that doubles the runtime. Of course, it needs to be purchased separately. It's also got a digital display that shows the suction power, the battery life remaining in terms of time and maintenance alerts. 
there are nine different attachment that serve every cleaning need in your house like i already showed you it's also got one of the best customer support teams i've ever seen which i've mentioned before as well if you like this video you might want to watch this video next where i talk about the 13 reasons why i use the dyson vacuum cleaner thank you for watching and see you in the next video